Alright, hey, welcome to Mesa RC Phone Flyers News to Marshall. We've got, um, we did a work day earlier in the year, and it was, it was, uh, a lot of people liked it because they were able to see what the kids were. So we're like another month or two months beyond that, and we're gonna walk around and see what kids are doing. So on this table, we got, um, we got some cool projects happening on this table. We've got the F4, which was created by, um, uh, Scott Bragg, who is one of our old Mesa students, he's in high school now, and uh, Colby's taking it on to help him out and finish it up because he doesn't have a Mesa program at his school, so he brought it off, dropped it off, and now Colby's working on it, and getting it ready to go. Colby, how's it going so far? Um, it's pretty easy right now. We're working on the control arms, and after that, we're gonna work on the service. So, hopefully, within next week, end of this week, we can have it done and ready to fly. Cool. And then, you know, look for upcoming videos of that one. Um, another project that Colby's working on is a joint pro uh, project me and him are working on. Um, and he's working on the J20. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Tell me how it's, how it's going. Uh, it's pretty good so far. Right now I'm cutting out the stabilizers. We have a change on this one. We have vertical stabilizers and bottom stabilizers. Just kind of a change. I've never seen that before. So I'm working on those. We got the... Uh, belly pan done. Sweet. The top plate done, you mean? Yeah, the top plate. Fuselage. So, Colby's the one that last year came up with the concept of creating that, that the new Wolverine style body that we have. And we got the Wolverine where, you know, where we want it to be and it's still available online. The, his big one was the J20. So now he's working on the J20 with that same design. Um, and he's writing down notes and you know figuring out what plans, you know, what we need to change in the plans and, and all that good stuff. So let's go over to the next one. Thanks, cool. This next one's kind of cool. This is our Snowhawk. It looks very, very much like the uh, the Polaris. So we're gonna be able to hopefully fly this thing on the snow and then be able to take off. It's got a big old belly on it. Um, we might test it out with water, who knows. But uh, it's really starting to come along. We're gonna have a couple kids work on this one. Right now this is just the, the main, main design part of it. But it's starting to look pretty good. Got a couple sanding to do here in the front. And then what do you got going, Ben? That's interesting. No one's ever done this one yet. Yeah, I kind of looked it up online and I thought it was a pretty cool project. So. And it's cool. Small. It's a Sky Fighter version too. Nice, man. I like it. Let's go on this table over here. This one's cool. Check this out. You guys familiar with the symbol? This is the, the Fox that uh, White's working on. Remember he, in his last video he said he was working on How's it coming along, man? Oh, it's coming along really good. It's turning out right. Uh, working on this, the control surfaces? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be sweet. Where's your stabilizer going to go? Uh, probably right here. We have to put them in here. We have to put right. here. So the ears are going to control the plane. <laughs> How are you gonna, what are you gonna do down here? Um, about? Put a front on, nice and angled like this. Okay. And then there's the battery box is gonna be in here. Nice. Very cool. Uh, so we'll, we'll have like a little bit of an access tray from the front or something? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got a couple other ones that we're working on. This looks like the Eurofighter, right? Yes, it is. Cool. How's it coming along? Uh, it's iffy. Okay. So this, these, these get flipped on the other side, uh, okay. so you don't have all these big old square parts here. Okay. So these little angles right here, that means that they're going to be bevel. You want to bevel them out, so it's holding the inside of the cabinet. What do you got, right? We're going to be two. Coming together. Pretty cool. You forgot your airflow. Yeah, I'm going to build that. Sweet. All right, let's go on the next table. 
Looks like we got some original creations here. Who's on this one? Um, that's Ashton's. Ashton? Where's Ashton? There you are. I'm here. So tell us about this, Ashton. Well, this is sort of my own little creation. I have a few stabilizers here. I just worked out a rudder system. It'll probably go around somewhere in here. My motor can go in the back right here. Cool. I have a few uh, elevators and ailerons right here. Okay. That's my main design. Sort of just winging it. Sweet. I mean, a lot of these kids will um, they'll create a lot of prototypes, and then these prototypes will then be taken out to the field, and a lot of times we don't see their prototypes on, on the video, so or on YouTube. And if it works, then we'll finalize it, start working with plans with them, and then so they can actually generate something that looks really nice. What are you guys thinking? Make a little gliders. Oh, okay. Glide across the gym floor, kind of raise each other. Floor gliders? Yeah. Cool. We're coming up with something called the floor gliders. So look out for that. That's gonna be pretty cool. What do we got over here? Oh, we got a mini bike kind of thing. Sweet. Look at this thing. I don't even know if I have a small enough motor to not make this thing scream. We got the little. Yeah, we're choking. Yeah, that one's a little stiff. Yeah. She'll get it. We've had, we've had this one on top of the We've got a clever little airflow thing going on. They learned that from. Who learned that airflow from? Uh, flight test. Flight test. Sweet. So we'll get the motor mounted here. I wouldn't cut any more into this. I would just leave it the way it is. Okay. And then we'll just do it right on there. Maybe just a little teeny cut side. Yeah, this one's kind of like yeah. at an angle. So what they're just going to want to do is level that out so I can just fit. A motor right into it, and the size of the motor is 1.5 inches. Cool. Brian, what do you got going? Look like you're building another nut ball. Yeah, I'm building a nut ball. Fixing this one. Yeah, I decided to put glue in here so it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Next time we use some tape, we'll use that clear tape too instead of the. Oh. Yeah, yeah. but for prototypes, perfect. Let's come on to the last table. Dude. We got a bu bunch of stuff going on here. Look at all this mess. What's going on? Uh, we're working on a donated plane. Okay. Um, we're, we're going to replace this with a real prop and see what will happen, but we're not quite sure what to do right now. Okay. So this is a plane that was found in someone's garage and they just came and dropped it off and said, can you guys get it to fly? <laughs> so we're going to try to uh, get this little guy to fly. Um, he's pretty interesting. Hopefully maybe we'll be able to fly this thing in the gym. He's so small. Best Super. battery ever. It's a little nickel battery. Actually, keep that. Don't lose that. We can probably charge that too. Yeah, you can't charge it. The remote, the remote has a charge option on it. Oh, nice. Sweet. Cool. Yeah. When we finish, I'll get back with you guys. And help you guys out. All right. Here's Colby. Colby's working on his invention uh, that he flew. Look for his video to come out here in a couple weeks. He flew his, his uh, prototype. Um, it just was was real flimsy. The, the wings. Didn't allow him to give a you know a true flight. Um, he, he's making the necessary changes now um, in hopes that he'll have a better uh, better chance next time. He's got better flaps in the end, a bigger wing, bigger surface area, and it looks like it's starting to, to come along pretty nice. So. Um, I guess it's kind of a glider plane. Um, so, yeah. Cool. So look, we're starting to get into some airfoils now. We've got the KFM-2 on this one. So the body would be glued and this would sit right on top of that. Prop on the front. This would more likely go yeah. on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay, because it would be easy, easier for the glue and then we can just pinch the rudder mm -hmm. right in there. Yeah. It would be a piece of cake. So this would actually flip this way. You got yourself B2 going. These guys got all kinds of stuff going on. All these projects going on, you're just waiting for parts, aren't you? So you got the B2 happening, looking good. Then you got this crazy invention here. Which we'll, have to, we'll have to figure out how we're going to get this thing to fly. We'll see. Maybe it can lead to something else. You just never know. That's the whole point. And you're not Cool. Awesome. Well, that. There's so many other invention stuff going on, and we just can't get through it all, but um, stay tuned and, and uh, keep supporting us by watching our videos. Um, look us up on Facebook and, and like us, and, and uh, keep following the Mace RC Full Fighters.